Hello everybody, my name is James Terms. Hey, welcome to The Walking Dead. Not tomorrow yet. Episode recap. Spoiler alert. Uh, Rick and others determine that the only way to keep peace in Alexandria is to wage a war with the new enemy. Yes, if you read the comic, we're at it all at war. Um, so yeah, it's a really long, talky episode. Basically what happens is they left the hilltop with the dude, Lupus, and Jesus, and they go to Alexandria, and it starts off with Carol making cookies and passing out cookies to everybody, and she comes up to the dude with the bald spot, and he's got the thing, I forget his name, and uh, they have a moment where it's like, Try these cookies, and she's like, they're pink. They got beets in them. I hate beets. Just eat it, stupid. So it's acorn beet cookies, and he's like, mm, 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 mm. he takes a bite and eats it. And then he tells her, this is the best beet and acorn cookie I ever had. And he's like, she's like, are you kidding? Messing with me? No, they're delicious. So it's like foreshadowing for the relationship that blossoms later when she's out smoking. And then, uh, she leaves a cookie on Sam's grave, and then her and Morgan have a moment where he's like, it's been weeks since they talked about the wolf dude in the cellar, and he's like, how come you haven't told nobody? How come Rita and Eugene and Tara didn't tell nobody? And he tells her, or she tells him, um, I told everybody to keep their mouth shut, like, just get over it. And then they like walk off, and as she's walking off, or before she walks off, actually, uh, Morgan tells her because it's kind of your fault too. And then she just like walks off. And then they have the meeting in the church about how we need to attack Negan's people before they come get us. And Rick gives everybody a moment to say, like. Now's your chance if you don't want to do it, if you have an objection, democracy type thing. And Morgan stands up and says, we have a choice to talk to them first. And everyone disagrees, but nobody says anything. Everyone just keeps quiet. And then uh, Eric steps up and like, agrees, like, yes, we have to do it Rick's way. We have to get them before they get us. So they go do that. And if you're a fan of the, oh, before that, um... Tara tells Denise that she loves her, and she had you know that awkward, like, first time I say I love you thing to a girl, or to a boy, or to whoever, that you like somebody, and you're like, you're dating, and you're like, I love you, but you don't have to say it back if you don't want to, they have that awkward thing, she's like, oh, I'll say it to you when I, when you get back, oh, well, I'm going on this thing with Heath, so we'll come back, get you, you want to come with us? And then, yeah, I'm a little actor now, I can't, but I want to. They're doing that awkward, hey, we're kind of awkward first time thing. And uh, they do that. And then Carol goes for a walk, for a cigarette walk, because she can't sleep because of what Morgan told her. And then the guy's outside, and he's like, you got an extra one? She's like, not for you, asshole. And then sits down, and they share... And they talk, and he basically tells her, like, you're a mom. That's why you could do crazy shit, because you're a mom. Everyone, you're a mom to most people here. And he's like, what about to you? He's like, no, you're something different. And then they kiss. And I was like, yay, more romance. And uh, here's a big shocker, weird. Um, Abraham left Rita. Weird, right? Um... In the previous episode, he left the necklace she made him in the uh, grass. And then, um, so you get into it, and she's like, tell me why! And he says the most messed up thing you could ever tell somebody. When I met you, I thought you were the last woman on earth, but you're not. So then she's crying and like fighting, and then he leaves and... Eugene's there with the cookie and starts talking and she just like slams the door and then cries and 
Yeah, so who knows what to do with that. Probably Sasha, but maybe Sasha will break his heart, too. And then, um... Everybody heads out, they get to the place, and it looks nothing like the Savior's place in the comic book. And I was disappointed, because if you haven't seen how it looks, Google The Walking Dead, The Savior's, and images, and look at the, the building, and it looks totally different. It has a weird spiral staircase and satellites, kind of like a small... Not airport, but there's two satellites and a parking lot. And they explain it when they're making the plan. And um, they're going to get Gregory's head. And they make it look, they make you think on the TV show, like, whoa, are they going to actually go chop Gregory's head off? But then it cuts to commercial. And when it comes back, they go to where they're close to the place, to Xavier's place. And then everybody goes looking for zombies, and they cut the heads off, and they're like, well, this is what we have, and they, like, trim the beard and cut the hair. They find one, but they're like, the nose ain't right, so the brick starts punching it, and he's like, he got in a fight with you, right? Broke your hand to Lupus. And then Lupus is like, Negan is scary, but he ain't got nothing on you, which is like, he's punching the zombie that's been killed, and he got his head off. That's scary. But okay, um, so then they go, and Lupus stands out there, and they're like, these red lights come on, and the guards come out, and they're like, come out of the car now, and he's like, it's Lupus, I got what you wanted, and they bring it to me, and he brings him the bag, and then they do the awkward where it's like, oh shit, are they gonna buy this, and then they buy it, and then the guy gets the Gets the look on the chin and he's like, I want to know, Lopez broke my nose. And then he goes in and the guy starts singing or whistling a tune. And then he gets stabbed and stabbed. And then they go into super stealth mission where Rick's group, all the Alexandrians, not all of them, but everybody who came, they go in the building and they start going in rooms and double tapping. But they did that thing where it's like, all right, guys. Just, you know, stab them in the head. And then they're just like... And then the people are dead. Which, I don't know. I know people who got stabbed in, like, the body. And it wasn't even that easy. So, just saying. Pretty sure it's hard in your head. But, okay. So, the whole time they're doing that, it's going well. And, uh... To reassure to everybody on that's watching... That Negan's the saviors are bad people. Because Glenn and Heath had a thing where they're like, You ever killed somebody? I've been lucky. I never had to kill peoples. And then he's like, Me either, dude. I was lucky too. And then he has a, they have a moment where they're like, You ever close your eyes and you can't sleep? You can't eat. Because what you see is like so bad. And he's like, Yeah, I think it's ten times worse than that. That's what Glenn tells him to uh, Heath, and then him and Heath are in a room, and there's two people, Glenn takes care of one, and then Heath goes to take care of the other one, and Glenn does it for him, like, so he won't have to deal with it as well, and then they show, like, a collage, kind of like this collage, but with, uh, pictures of, um, Polaroids, you remember those kids, and there's, uh, Basically, if you ever watched Toxic Avenger, you remember that game those guys would play in the car where they got to kill people and then take pictures of it? They have that, where it's people's pictures of people with their faces, like, bashed and smashed in. It's graphic. Of humans, not zombies. So then, that's your reassurance of these are bad people. So then they keep going, and uh, Sasha and Abraham, Team Sasha Abe, or S Sasha Ham, And then, uh, they're breaking into this room, and then a guy comes out the other one and stabs Abraham, and then the soldier stabs him, and he pulls the alarm. So now you have your stealth mission is gone loud. Abort, abort, abort. But they don't abort, they just keep running through with machine guns, and eventually they find the armory, and then it, before that, it, yeah, when the guy pulls the alarm, 
um, Terra, or before that, Terra has a moment in the car with uh, Father Gabriel and tells him that she lied to her girlfriend when she said that I love you to cover something up. And they're like, Jesus, like, well, do you? And then he's like, do you love her? She's like, yeah, that's okay. And uh, Father Gabriel goes out and shoots the one dude in the grass. They do a little prayer back and forth, kind of. And, uh, Carol and, uh, Maggie stayed back, because Maggie's super pregnant, right? And then, um, someone doing that, Carol's like, you stay here! And he's like, no, I can't! She's like, you stay here! No, I can't! And then, uh, somehow they get busted. They, they get caught. Spoiler for next week's episode. They get caught. And we know this, because after they cut to commercial and come back, there's Rick and everybody's just like walking out and it's like okay cool we took care of everything it's all good and then Michonne is like I wonder which one was Negan foreshadowing Negan hasn't even showed up yet um, a guy runs off on a bike that looks like the bike Daryl made he's like where'd you get the bike so clearly the people in the woods was the white Wyatt and his wife so comic book readers cool. He's gonna have a burned face when we see him next time. And, uh, he has a walkie-talkie and, uh, there's a lady on it and she's like, drop your weapon you with the gun. And then we have Maggie and Carol and it's like, oh! And that's how the episode ends. So that's the episode, not yet tomorrow. Uh, feel free to subscribe and all that cool YouTube stuff you do so well for more riveting content such as this. Peace.